Hi, Rich Garuba for BowlingBall.com. Let's talk about how to warm up before bowling. You know, I think this is a, a subject that everyone kind of overlooks. Yeah, yeah, it's it's okay. I know to stretch out or warm up a little bit or, or I'll do certain things. But I think what happens is bowlers don't establish a sufficient pre-shot routine, not only before preparing to make a delivery, but before you prepare to even begin bowling. And so let's talk about some of the things. Now, keep in mind, I'm certainly not a doctor or a physician to advise uh, on proper exercising from a medical standpoint, but I think if you use common sense, uh, use some of the general calisthenic exercises or even aerobic exercises that you might use at home, that you might see people on TV recommend on those, those specialized shows, uh, or even what you read or pick up uh, on the internet or in books, videos, and so on. Use your, use your own imagination on that, but it's important to warm up the leg muscles, the torso, and your shoulder and arm muscles as well. And don't forget the wrists and the ankles. And you can just do a couple rotations with, uh, or exercises with your wrists or your ankles uh, while you're putting your shoes on and warming up. Uh, you can swing your bowling ball back and forth, put it in your hand, catch it in your, in your opposite hand and make a couple releases, or at least where the thumb exits, if not the entire ball. Uh, just enough to get a feel and loosen up the tendons and the muscles um, in your hands and in your bowling arm. Rotate your arms around your shoulder sockets, uh, forward and backward motions, both directions. Uh, do some stretching muscles with your legs. You want to work the front part and the back part of your legs, the big muscles particularly. Stretch them out slowly. And, you know, for those of you who live in a cold climate, it's especially important to take just a little bit more time. Uh, to warm up than those who might live, for example, in the desert where it's typically a lot warmer and your muscles stay stretched out. And you know when you're stretched out properly, it's easy to get a rhythm and maintain it longer. If you start cold uh, and you make a few deliveries when your muscles finally warm up and stretch out when you're actually bowling, it'll change your motion quite a bit. You might start propelling the ball faster or giving a little livelier action with your hand, something that might make the ball reaction change and you might not have the results you're looking for. So a pre-shot routine, just like when you're starting to bowl, you want to go through your checklist before you make your first step on your approach. Uh, you want to do the same in warming up. Uh, so anyway, we, we just think that uh, uh, there's another phase to warming up that you should consider, and that's make sure you make a, a few deliveries at half speed. Don't try to throw your first, your first bowling ball delivery at full speed. Uh, you want to work up to it. And if you do that, three, four, five deliveries in your practice balls, whether they're warm-up balls before league play or you're warming up before practice session or even a tournament, make sure that you loosen up slowly. Don't try to make a perfect delivery in your first few shots. In fact, you can watch how far the ball skids on the lane and, hook, and where it hooks. Maybe get a little idea of the lane condition while you're in that warm-up process. Okay? So uh, all those things are important. Do them over and over every time you go to the lanes, and we think that not only you'll avoid injury by warming up properly, you'll get better results on the lanes. Hope some of these tips help you. Uh, thanks for taking a couple moments to listen, and uh, good luck to you.